look when he was still young and manageable. Aww. Are you ready? Are you ready for bed? I'm sure that hurt. I'm sure that hurt. <laughs> that hurt because you hit yourself on the floor. Well, enough about our angel, so... Let's get back to the intro. <laughs> excited to try this. Spot out in, uh, what is it, Pinot? Pinot. Mm -hmm. So far, so good. The bread's good. We have this delicious sauce here. Calamari. So. Calamari's good. Yeah, definitely. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. No, I told you don't touch it. Oh, there he goes with his temper tantrum. One. Two, three, give it to me. You're done with the video now. The hot. <laughs> ¿Qué quieres? Agua. Agua. ¿Qué quieres? Dile agua. Agua. Good job. Agua. What's up, Leslie fam? So, new update with Liam. Okay. So, Liam lately has been on this, like, food strike. I swear. For, like, like, two days. It's, no. He, okay, so, this dinner that we went to was a success because he was eating a lot. He <laughs> hadn't eaten in, like, two days. Okay, well, he loves goldfishes, so that, I mean, if but he's not going to eat something, it's, it's something that he can eat. He wasn't taking food. He wasn't taking meat. He wasn't taking chicken. He wasn't taking any Every, rice. Everything that he liked, he wasn't he eating. Wasn't so, it. yeah, I guess you could say it was like a food strike. I don't know yeah. why. But, I mean, we believe in this whole, like, empachado thing. I don't even know how to translate that. But empachado in all our culture is like saying that they have, like, an upset stomach and they're just not wanting to eat anything. Um, it, it's supposed to be like, I don't know, the skin of a tomato or something gets stuck to their stomach and they just don't feel like eating or they feel sick and so they stop eating. Skin of a tomato? That's what they say, like la cascara de un tomate or the skin on like grapes. It like sticks to their intestines. I don't know. That's just what they've said, <laughs> okay? So anyways point is he hasn't really been eating so we've been feeding him like the same thing just like the goldfish that yeah the goldfish and then he'll eat jello like banana but like nothing that's like good like nutritional yeah and like hearty he was just not eating he wasn't even eating at grandma's house yeah and so that's like not normal yeah he normally like throws down at grandma's house with yeah. like rice beans his little tacos my mom makes him like oatmeal every single morning he's so spoiled so spoiled i don't even get oatmeal <laughs> um and so we we're kind of like freaked out and we we're kind of worried she was very worried and i was like you know what a kid's gonna be a kid and they go through this like i've heard my sister say that her son didn't eat for like a day or two uh, my brother's kids 
Akira and Vanessa just mentioned it the other day that yeah. Cashy wasn't eating. That's true. And um, we just saw them this weekend and we we're like, dude, like, Leon went through that same phase. Like, it lasted two days and then the next day he was fine. So, I, I don't know. Maybe it could have been something with his stomach. Maybe it could have been that he was just like, screw it, I'm not going to eat. I don't know. But my mom did like a, like a tummy rub on him mm-hmm. and the next day day or so he was he freaking threw down and ate like yeah like he hadn't eaten well oh, he yeah, hadn't he eaten had days, days. <laughs> but yeah i guess the whole thing with with it is like they rub their stomach with like oil and then they're supposed to like i don't know it's supposed to move all whatever is stuck to their intestines Tomato through their skin. system <laughs> shut up <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyways, it's supposed to move everything down their track and into their poo. And I guess they poo it out. So, she did mention that he had a massive poo. So, maybe that's what he needed. I don't maybe. know. Whatever it was, my suegra, mother-in-law, like, just, she saved the day. Yeah. So, I thank her so much for that. She's awesome. Um, but, yeah, it's just been very stressful to, like, him not eating. It just... Besides the fact that he was anemic, so that had me stressed. Yeah, she was super stressed out, but I was just, I had just had to reassure her, like, he's not going to die. Like, <laughs> he's drinking his fluids, yeah. he's eating goldfish. <laughs> I mean, it's something. It's better than see. nothing. But, I mean, it had a word, which is understandable. I'm sure, like, tons of you guys with kids can, like understand where we're coming from because we didn't know like what to do like what do you do when your kid doesn't eat like do you then like maybe bribe them with ice cream or something candy like but then that's know. not healthy like that's not healthy but i feel so like then, it's something to eat right so then but do you just yes, feed them it's not right it's right not no right. i know but i'm saying like then is it you just feed them whatever they do eat like uh-huh. is you know comment down below and let us know like has your kid done it you know <laughs> So, so we're always like, yeah, I know this parenting's so freaking hard. It's so hard. It's, so it's hard. like always something new. Like every stage is just something new. But so this weekend was a success. We went to dinner. Yeah. He did a great job. We took all those tips that we got previously from a while back oh when he God, was yes. younger. And he was a menace to society when we would go out to <laughs> eat. But now we put on a video. He mm-hmm. watches it. A little bit. And then he almost throws the phone, but that's okay. Um, we get like three minutes out of that. And then um, we... I actually looked up the menu. She reminded me to look up the menu. Mm-hmm. Previously that's been a to getting great there, thing for us. Because I was like, I know what I want. Yep. But I should have had her do it because she was like... I'm picky. I know what I like. No. The waitress and came I by still like, changed it. The waitress came by like three times. And I was like, are you kidding me? But my food was ready. I ordered for Liam. He got a cheese pizza. I got some like uh, pasta with like vodka sauce. Yeah. And actually Liam was like grubbing on that. Yeah, he really liked it surprisingly. And some, you know, sometimes it's the weird things. Like the other day I was eating um, green beans. And he was just like munching on them. I'm like, what? Or like, he likes olives. Like, what kid loves olives or pickles? Like, it's so weird. But he likes that yeah. weird stuff. I like it. So, he's my son, right? So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no doubt about that. Yeah. He he likes that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, this weekend was a success for dinner. Uh, we appreciate everybody's comments that gave us all those helpful hints. Yes. With. You know, looking at the many beforehand, um, you bringing know, toys to bringing toys. toys. Last time we went to sushi, we brought a whole bag that he had. It's like his um, little travel pack now. Yeah, like his yeah. little travel bag. Yeah. Um, it's like... Uh... So my friend, um, Monica, shout out to you, by the way. Thank yeah. you. You brought him from Disneyland. Disneyland. It's like a little packet of yeah. like the the back toys and mm-hmm. then it's a pretty big bag it's a good bag so he fit like maybe five or six toys in there and, and his favorite little dog yeah and the dog <laughs> and sure he freaking like was just playing with them throughout all of dinner and he did a really good job at like not being like 
trying to get out of his chair. So that was awesome. Yeah, that's so we shame. take toys, we take the videos, and he, there's certain videos that he really likes. He likes the dancing ones because he'd be getting down like James Brown. <laughs> um, and then we look at the menu beforehand. Yeah. Oh, what else? Oh, we do bring snacks. Snacks like his goldfish and stuff because he loves his goldfish, so we bring him lots of goldfish That's true. to kind yeah. of like you know divert his hunger for a little bit until the actual meal comes. And then we always, always order his food first, regardless of if she's not ready. I'm like, Yeah, can I get the kids' menu right away? And I know exactly what I'm gonna get him, yeah, because yeah. that process is so much easier than having to wait those 40 minutes to get our meal. And then his, so yeah. that has completely changed. And I feel like the the waiters or waitresses, like they always ask us too, like, do you want his food to come out yeah. first? And we're always like, yes, like because, now. <laughs> yeah, you know. Um, and we start noticing kind of like when he starts getting fussy, we're like, okay, it's time to wrap up. Yeah. So we're we're getting better with um, paying attention to his like mood to his like yeah. little things that he does yeah. and right now he's like really really into trying to be independent mm -hmm. and with his fork stabbing like his food so he can eat it i mean of course he misses every single time yeah but the point is that he wants his own fork he wants mm -hmm. his own spoon so that he can feed himself because he's a big boy now according to him and so it's been like five yeah <laughs> but because of that he makes a ginormous mess yeah. And his hands are all like dirty and his face is all just the pasta was all over his face and his hands So and once he starts kind of getting in that mood where he's just tossing the food We I just grab him We're and done. we go wash our hands. Yeah, because I'm very like Ooh, don't touch me kid um, So we go wash his hands and he's really good about washing his hands because we do it at home all the time Hold on bud, but are you all done? All done? All done? All right, let's go wash our hands then. You done, puppy? You did great. Good job. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. And then he, it allows him to get up and kind of walk around a little bit. Yeah. Um, and that has helped us tremendously. So once I wrap up, like once I go and I wash his hands, she's grabbing the check ready to go as soon as we get out maybe five more minutes and then we have to go yeah although I do have to say give you props because when he starts to act up a little bit and he's getting you know crazy she will take him outside and so she's done very very good so yeah good job but yes so finish watching this couple clips of Liam enjoying his food so delicious all over his face, all over his hands, <laughs> hair. Oh, that's his thing. Thanks for watching, guys. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Get your friends, all of your friends, get your neighbor, <laughs> get your cousin, fourth removed. Everybody, everybody. Hey, turn your mouth. There Good job. Goes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh oh. Don't let it fall. Ya lo agarraste? He got it. Good job. A ver, otro. Más. ¿Quieres más? Okay, let's go for it. Bro. You're not supposed to let your fork touch anything else besides your food. No, papi. Hey, si vas a jugar, te lo voy a quitar. Agárralo bien porque más. comas. Otro. Agárralo, dale vuelta. Good job. <laughs> you gotta rotate it. There you go. There you go. Here, Asira. Dale vuelta así. Así. Okay? So you can poke it. Mira, ven. Try it again. There you go. Good, Good job. job. Yeah. High five, buddy. We here. Tell a high five for mom. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> we appreciate everybody for all your subscriptions to the vlog. 
We appreciate everybody's comments, comments whether they're two sentences to two words, a to like a, a full, heart, like a full paragraph. We appreciate everybody putting in your input, and we totally appreciate all the parenting advice you guys can give us. You know, we're first time parents, we don't know what the hell we're doing. We don't. As you can see, we, we're never on the same page. Yeah. And we're trying, but... We argue a lot we about are. that. That's our biggest fight. Anyways. Well, hopefully next time we'll be closer to be on that same page. I'm on the page? You're like three chapters back. <laughs> Anyways. It's true. Bye.